Perfect. What's going on, Sumolings? Thank you so much for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. I am Lindsay, and I am joined by the team over at Scribe. Scribe is a tool that lets you add CTAs and promotional banners in every email signature for more effective branding and campaigns. It's available at AppSumo right now, starting at just $39 for a lifetime deal. But before we dive into the product, I want to just tell you a few quick things. Uh, if you guys want to chat with us, if you want to tell us a little bit about your use case, maybe uh, I don't know what you want to use Scribe for. Go ahead and uh, put that all in the chat room. We love to hear from you. Um, if you have any questions about the tool, go ahead and leave those questions in the Q&A box down below the video. We do have Gil from the uh, Scribe team here to uh, answer those questions, but we will also be circling back to those questions at the end of the walkthrough. And the last thing is we are recording this, so there will be a replay available. You can watch this truly as many times as you want if you need to step out that's a-okay uh, and yeah all right that's it for me hey clement how are you doing doing well thanks happy to be here guys hello I'm everybody excited to have you um i am going to go ahead and pass this over to you now to do the walkthrough yeah, but sure. let me know when you are ready for the questions uh for the q a okay definitely um so do you see my screen yeah working well sure do okay perfect so I'm going to show you like quickly the, the, um, the product guys. I'm going to first show it for um, G Suite users and then we'll do it for Outlook and Gmail users. You, you guys get um, both cases. So let's start with G Suite. So once you created your um, you know, account on Scribe, you, uh, you know, use your, but, but your AppSumo code, you did your onboarding, creating your account, you do arrive uh, in the department field. Um, so the department allow you to create uh, signature templates. And then for each signature template, you can assign coworkers um, to, to this signature. Um, so you do that for uh, being able to get like tailored marketing messages. So for example, if you want to have here, for example, Scribe, we have like here in this demo, um, the product team, but we usually have also like a sale um, department because also of course the sale team have a different um, you know, messages than the product team. Then we have the customer success team. Um, so for each of them, you get a, a precise um, signature templates. So for example, if I go there in our product templates, so here you can you know, like name the department, you can choose the country of it. Um, so for example, we have clients, they have activities in uh, different countries which mean also different time zone, which is uh, useful based on when you want to send your communication. We'll go back to that later. Um, then we do have here the templates. Um, so here it makes it scalable for you to only create the template once, and then you can um, automatically have it for all your coworkers. Um, so here we do see those fields uh, in gray. Um, it's because you might not have all the personal information for your coworkers. So when they will receive the invitation um, of Scribe, they will be able to personalize those three fields. But all the other one, um, they will be already pre-filled by you. Um, so concerning the other field, you can really like, create whatever you want. Every time at the end of each line, you can um, personalize your signatures. Here you have the font family. You can search for one. You can easily copy past here your choice on every field. So you don't have to, to type it uh, several times. You can do the same here for the colors. Either you can choose like custom color or um, default color, sorry guys, or you can also have your own um, color code based on your branding. Uh, same than the font family, you can apply that color things everywhere in one click. Here you can choose uh, which type of um, field you want to um, you know, uh, show. So you can um, decide to show phones. You can decide to hide that field, to display that field. You can show the color of the icon. Same here, you can have your custom color um, and you can do the same for all of them. You know, here I'm gonna do address, for example. Um, here location is, is linked with um, Google map, you know? So if you wanna put your office or store location, um, for let's say now I'm in uh, Berlin. So let me put my address. So here we can see guys, we can see in live. The Google, wait, that's my wrong address. There we go. Uh, it will automatically put the address. Let me move my up. 
to finish over here, the um, Google Map link here. So basically when uh, you will send an email with your email signatures and the guy received the email, it just click there and it will open Google Map. Um, there we go. Here you can open yeah, the logo where you put a link, you know. So depend on uh, where you want to redirect your traffic, you can put a link there. Um, same for your social icon here. Always have a link. You can choose the color here. Um, and you can add, you know, a motto. So for us, is email signatures made smart and sexy. So here you always have, you know, like a live preview here. So you can see what it looks like. You can switch between templates. So here are minimal templates. Here are the classic templates. Uh, we do have, uh, since the first week of the launch on AppSumo, a lot of feedback on you guys wanted to have more templates. So that's something we hear about you guys. And we're going to make sure to release more templates in the coming weeks. So you have, you have even more um, creativity and more uh, choices. Uh, and then lastly, you can have, uh, add call to action or banners to your um, signature. So this is like the marketing part. Of it. So here it's very easy. You can um, put the title you want, you put the link you want. Again, you can choose the font family, the button color. Uh, and based on your department, of course, here you would get different call to action, right? So for example, um, if you are sales department, you would get book a demo. Uh, if you are um, the customer sex success, maybe you want to get okay, give us your feedback or rate this conversation. Um, if you are the marketing team, you can have like join, join a webinar. Um, and every time, of course, you add a different link. Um, and then all those links are, are tracked in our analytics that I'm going to show you guys after. And you can do the same for a banner. You know, you can just upload a banner. So here, for example, join our webinar. Same here. You put a link. Uh, so we can track everything. Uh, and once this is done, um, you just here, remember we are in a G Suite uh, setup only for G Suite users. You click on apply changes in department. So automatically, all the people you assign to these departments um, who belong to that department will get their signature updated automatically. So you don't have to, you know, check that. Um, and here you have the coworkers. So basically here you will have the list of your coworkers uh, from your G Suite. So here I, I added everything, everybody already. And then you will just have to, for example, let me show you now by, you know, let's say G was not in product. I will just, you know, drag and drop Jill here and say, okay, here's my company coworkers. I want you to move to my product department, you know? And then automatically I would say, okay, I'm going to invite coworkers. And by clicking that, it will get a, an email, um, scribe email. And then once you click join, it will arrive here on his signatures. We've already everything filled. Uh, it will just have to fill, you know, some type of uh, information. Uh, and then you will have to click apply changes on my Gmail. Um, so that's automatic. It doesn't have to copy anything. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, and one more thing about the department I'm forgetting. That's important. When you do apply changes here, you get that box which uh, basically allow you to uh, give um, the role for that department. So you, you can be like, okay, I want to allow every coworker in that department to edit those, the, the field of the signature, or you can be the opposite. I'm like, okay, I just want to make sure nobody mess around with my uh, templates. So I'm just going to turn everything off, you know, so they can't touch anything. So that really depends on what you want to do. We created that so you guys get a lot of flexibility um, about, okay, what type of, of a role you want to give to your, your um, coworker. And once you invited them, then you will can have a follow-up here on your coworker dashboard. You see uh, who installed the signature or not. You can have the full control as an admin of like, hey, I want to see what the signature looks like in case, you know, like some coworker kind of like mess around with your design and you don't like it. Or we have some clients, for example, um, some coworker, they have like the wrong um, job title, you know, like they put like a, a, a job title that is not their uh, position, something higher, you know, or uh, they put the wrong um, profile picture. So for example, we have clients, they, they, they add like a shooting of like shooting the whole team with like the company outfit and they just want to make sure everybody's on brand on the profile picture. Um, so like the, the, the admin on Scribe can make sure um, the picture looks good. And if it's not the case, then of course you can edit the signatures of that person without asking uh, that person. So, you know, it's like you just avoid 
back and forth communication. You don't waste time on this. And you can just say, okay, here I'm gonna uh, change some field. And then I will install those changes automatically on the, the coworker. Um, so that's nice. And then uh, you can also force install the signature. So here's in gray because I already um, did it, you know. Um, but you can say, okay, I invited everybody one week ago. I go back to my dashboard. I see, you know, like some people have been maybe too busy or a bit lazy, you know, like I don't want to waste my time doing back and forth with them. I'm just going to force install everything. Of course, you have to make sure that you will edit the signatures to make sure you add the right uh, personal information, like first name, last name, uh, job position of that person. Um, but again, that gives you an extra, an extra uh, control. Uh, and then let's go to the analytics. Um, so here, basically, everything, every link, plus the call to action, plus the banner in your signature is tracked. So you get all the data here. Uh, and you get like a classic CTR. So basically, how many people saw your, uh, for example, here's my company logo. How many people saw my company logo? How many people clicked? and you get the, the final um, um, click-through rate. So here we get 7%. Uh, and you get that for departments, you get that for your marketing campaign, something I'm gonna show you right after, and you get that, get that for your uh, own signature. Um, so for example, you know, my profile picture, I put a different link. Um, for example, I could have put my own LinkedIn. So that's not something you wanna to apply to all your coworker in all your department, you just wanna uh, have your personal information or sometime we do have um, people who have their own branding on social media like oh, I want to promote my own Twitter and not my company Twitter because that's kind of like my self branding and then that's how I communicate so they will put their own Twitter accounts so here you will get your uh, personal um, uh, you know like social icon and your personal data um, and now the campaign campaign features so basically, it's like Buffer. Uh, maybe um, some of you guys know Buffer to like schedule um, social posts on your social media. It's kind of like the same um, with the call to action and the promotional banner of your signature. So let's say at the beginning of the month, you already have your marketing strategy ready. Uh, you don't want to waste time during the month to change everything. You just you know schedule campaign. Um, you just choose which call to action or which banner you want to upload. Um, for which departments you want to apply those changes. You pick your dates. Um, automatically, the time zone is adapted to the department you choose here, you know, so you make sure the campaign trigger at the right date. And then uh, automatically during those dates, the CTA, let's say, okay, I'm like, okay, next, uh, next uh, month I have this uh, webinar. I want all my marketing team to promote that. So during those dates, automatically their uh, signature will change. And then, so they don't have to do anything. They will get the new call to action. And when the date uh, is over, uh, then they will get back to the previous uh, banners and call to action. Or let's say you're like, okay, now we just raised a certain amount of money or we want to hire. I want all my company to uh, have like call to action. We are hiring. So you just want to optimize those things. Uh, you can do that. And then you just schedule the, the campaign. Um, yes. And then you get also your settings there. You can have your custom domain. So basically it's for usually people who are sending a lot of outreach emails. So for example, our sales team at Scribe, they do send a lot of email. So for you to avoid to get flagged by you know, um, the Google filter spam and to end up in spam, uh, usually what sales team do is they buy a subdomain. So for example, us in our case, we bought this subdomain. And in our host provider, we just created that domain uh, and um, pointed to our C name. So then we avoid our main domain name um, scribe.tremail.com um, to be flagged, you know, we can do play around with this one, uh, the sale team, you know, I like can do whatever they want with this and we don't affect our main domain. Um, and also we are about to release this week, uh, new features about having um, um, several DNS per custom domain. So you have guys even more flexibility. Uh, for the admin, you can add, of course, more admin, um, which means an admin has access to all this tab here. Instead, when you're a coworker, you only have access to your signatures and your analytics, but the rest you don't have access. You, you can't mess around. So by inviting more admin, you will be able to give them access to the rest of the tab. Um, we also uh, are about to release this week following your guys' feedback, uh, features where basically you can say, 
I can, uh, I want this guy to be allowed to only see um, two departments. So you get more flexibility in the role you want, you want um, them to attribute. So it's about to go live this week following your feedback, guys. Um, of course, I will tell you when it's live. Um, so that's for G Suite users, for uh, Gmail users now. And Outlook users, it's a bit different because we're not synced to the G Suite, uh, the Google API. Um, so basically, um, here, when you install your signatures, that's the only difference is that you have to choose, okay, do I have to copy the Outlook code, the Gmail code, or the HTML code? So Outlook, of course, if you're Outlook users, you copy that in your Outlook settings. If your Gmail, same. Um, and for HTML, uh, it's if you're using another uh, email provider. So let's say you're using Sparks, you're using ProtonMail, you're using um, Superhuman, whatever uh, email provider you want to use, email client, sorry, um, you can copy paste this HTML code. It's also worked for um, tools like HubSpot, um, Zendesk, or other tools where you would like to implement your uh, email signatures if they do have that setting of, yeah, you can copy paste an HTML code. Um, we also plan to release that uh, sync feature for Outlook users. It's also on our product roadmap. Maybe Jill can uh, copy past, paste the link in the Q&A uh, chat box. So you guys can also see our product roadmap, uh, what's coming, what's planned. You can upvote for features. Uh, and then you basically, we know what's the most important for you guys. And we know what we should focus on. Um, so Outlook sync is definitely something coming. Um, so that's for Gmail Outlook um, users. Um, we do have a um, video of how to set up those um, signatures for Outlook and Gmail on our YouTube channel. Maybe Jill can also put the link of our YouTube channel in the Q&A, uh, as well as our FAQ uh, link where you get the step-by-step -step, uh, step -step, guide of how to implement your signature. So we prepare a lot of content for you guys so you're not lost and in case you are, please feel free to ping us on, on, um, on the, our chat on the website. And one thing also to keep in mind is that the marketing features for Gmail and G Suite user is, is not available yet because we can't sync uh, the signatures um, because there is no API. Um, so that's a feature that is not available for uh, Gmail and Outlook users. So just keep that in mind, but that will come um, soon uh, after the, the campaign. Um, I think it's pretty, pretty much it. Um, we, we can start a question. I think it would be easier for me to, to know which, uh, what is clear and what is not clear. So maybe, Absolutely. Uh, Lindsay, you can uh, take over and uh, we see what we can do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do some questions, Sumo Links. If you have any, you can go ahead and leave those in the Q&A box right now. Um, we've gotten one comment that says, just want to say, impressed. Uh, thank you, Reese, for that. And then Robin asks, does this work with Outlook desktop? Um, so is it, is it, are you talking about um, Outlook or Exchange 365? Can you hear I, don't, I can't hear you. I'm not sure which one. Uh, oh. Could you tell us both? <laughs> so Exchange, no, not at the moment, but Outlook, yes. All right, 365 so using the Outlook is what they yeah, said exactly. on the desktop. Okay. Um, all right, and those are all of the questions that, that have been submitted, but Sumo Langs, go ahead and send those in. I would love to know personally, yep. um, I know roadmaps are of great curiosity to Sumo Langs, um, so I'm wondering, what are you most excited about on your roadmap? So right now we're excited about more templates because it's been something we've been asked a lot. Um, we are excited about those DNS thing, uh, the more admin role, you know, because it's kind of like you launch a campaign, you get so many feedback and those things are not that long to implement, you know, so we're like, okay, guys, we can do it that for, uh, fast for you, you know, and then people are happy, you know, so that's something we're excited to, you know, be able to, to give it right away to the community if we can. Um, that outlook also a sync, you know, so finally we can reach a full scalable sync uh, automation for every email providers for all our users um, but because Ma microsoft api are a bit more uh, tricky and not user friendly as uh, google api so it's more like a long task but we just want to make sure we do that um, properly 
So basically, it's working on mobile, it's working, uh, it's responsive, it's working on e every um, desktop and type of device, you know. So when we ship something, we make sure it's working everywhere. By the way, the signature is working for G Suite and Gmail. It does work on mobile, right? So guys, if you're using the Gmail mobile app, uh, when you compose a message, the signature doesn't show up. That's uh, just how Google works. But when you send the email, it does show up uh, when it's arrived. So Fun. signatures are responsive on mobile and it's working. Awesome. Um, do you, I don't want to hold you to any time frames, but we did get the question is exchange slash outlook 365 soon on the roadmap to be delivered. Uh, what can you tell us about, about timing? So I would say we, we, we have to finish the AppSumo campaign first, of course, because that's a lot of, you know, like a lot of it's questions. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, but it's exciting at the same time, you know, because uh, yes. we really believe that we can make the best product if we listen to you know, user feedback, you know, and that's, uh, so we really want to show people that, okay, the, the pr product uh, is still young and then we are here for the long term. Um, mm -hmm. So we need you guys, your feedback. So the campaign will end, I think, if I'm not uh, wrong, um, beginning of Oct October. And then right after, you know, we kind of like step back, look at all the feedback, all the upvote. It's already a lot of upvote and feature requests on the roadmap. So we're exciting. So we kind of like kind of prioritize everything. But definitely the exchange outlook thing will be a first. And then let's say maybe end of uh, October, beginning of November, um, we can commit to, commit to something, maybe middle of November. We can, can commit um, to something that is working well on, on, uh, across every platform. Wonderful. Um, thank you for all of that. We have a couple questions regarding licensing. The first one is, can you explain how licensing works? Another uh, Sumo Lang asks, I want to ask how many email IDs can use one license? Yeah, so that's a big question we got during the campaign. So, <laughs> yeah. um, so why license why why is one signature and one AppSumo code that you buy is equal to one scribe account. Okay. So based on which email provider guys, guys you are using, then um, it's a different type of, of flow. So if you're a G Suite, you can only have uh, one domain per scribe account because we're li we are linked to the Google API, right? So the, the Google API is linked to your G Suite. So we're talking to your G Suite and your G Suite basically can only tell us, hey, this is the domain I have and here is the information. So you, we can only talk to one domain for G Suite users, except if you do have many domain in that same G Suite, then we can talk to all of them. And actually in this uh, week release, um, we will uh, release the option to automatically, automatically you can add your own um, domain on your G Suite and select them and be like, hey, I have four domain on my G Suite, I wanna connect all of, all of them. So that's for G Suite domain. If you're G Suite users, only, we can only talk to one domain um, and not several ones. So like for, we have many questions for agencies where like, hey, I have clients uh, using Outlook, uh, G Suite, how do I do? Then you cannot at the moment because it's uh, one AppSumo account, uh, code, sorry, one scribe account, one domain for G Suite users. However, if you are um, uh, Outlook or Gmail users, then you have no limit of domain because we are not uh, um, linked to an API, which means when you invite Coworkers or people to the scribe accounts for um, to assign them um, signature templates. You just uh, enter an email. Maybe I can show you there actually. So uh, oh, we're going to create departments. So basically, you can add any email you want, right? Which means you do not have here. For example, I'm creating creating a department. I'm inviting the coworkers. Here I click add coworkers, and you can add the email you want to. Uh, instead of in G Suite here, you do not have that option because we're talking to the G Suite API. So basically automatically here, we have all the list of your coworkers located in G Suite. So you have no option to be like, ah, I want to add more people from other domain. But that's the case here with the G uh, Gmail, Outlook and other um, users, especially because for those guys, it's just about um, copy paste the HTML code. So yeah. And All then, right, we've gotten uh, a couple follow-up questions. Yeah, please do. Um, in, okay, in one domain, how many email IDs work? 
So it depends on the number of licenses you bought, right? So um, if you buy a seven code, you get unlimited license, we meet, which means you get unlimited email signature. So one license is one email signature. And for every AppSumo plan you buy, you get unlimited departments, just to make sure. Okay. Um, and then one other person asks, uh, what does five licenses per code consist of? So it means that you will get five signature because one license equal equals one signature. One signature. Cool. Yeah. Hopefully that clarifies all of it. I know I feel like I asked the same question like four times just now, but I, I know that people have It's their totally okay. Questions. Yeah. And uh, we yeah. answer a lot of questions on the um, AppSumo deal page about that. So feel free to read those thread. Um, Great. And if it's a lot of questions. So if you're lazy guys, no real really understand. Ping us straight on the chat right there. You get always like a Chris. Um, so just send us a message here and we are, we're uh, answer ASAP, so. Wonderful, thank you. All right, Sumolings, those are all of the questions that we have right now. If you have any, now is your time to get them in. Um, it appears that people are good to go on the licensing questions and thank you for explaining all of that. Uh, and da 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 all right, that's all we got. Um, thank you so much, Clement, for answering all of this. Jill, thank you for um, chatting with some people. Um, the feedback link is in the chat room. Uh, Sumo links, if you have not already, you can go to appsumo.com slash scribe to redeem your codes. Uh, this is starting at $39 for a lifetime deal. Uh, and of course is backed by AppSumo 60 day guarantee. So you can go ahead, get set up, start playing around with it and see how this works for you. We love to hear your reviews. Uh, so go ahead and leave those in the uh, comment section on the deal page. And then if you have any more questions, you can also leave those on the deal page. Uh, and that's also where you can find more information about this licensing stuff if you still have questions there. Um, thank you again, Clement, for hanging out with us. My pleasure, guys. Thanks for your time. Awesome. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. See you online.